Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Tuesday. It's February 21st. This will be our chart lesson for the day. Um, very big bearish down day, as you can see. Uh, definitely had some follow-through selling for a change, and uh, we're getting we're already getting towards oversold territory. Generally, when you get down below this purple and into this brown between these two lines when you start to as you approach the purple you're starting to get there so we're getting close um, as I've said all along I still think we need to retest these lows is that going to happen I, it's hard to say at this point but um, it's certainly looking like there's a better chance of it now than it was when we just kept going higher and higher here this did you know I talked about this looking like topping action and it looks like that it, it obviously was topping action and if we drop this back where it originally had it here uh, that midline looks correct there so this looks like an overshoot which um, I don't remember noticing that or talking about that previously so um, so yeah looks like a big overshoot so we could be headed lower here regardless we're definitely in a downtrend at the moment so let's see where this goes let's see if we continue to get some more selling here we could get a bounce um, this was a really big uh, sell off here so this might be a little capitulation after going sideways here and we could rally back to the midline and test that again we could even turn back up again for that matter but uh, it looks like we're headed lower for the short term at this point so anyway let's flip over to the intraday chart and you can see it looks just as bearish on that day chart on that uh, 2000 tick chart as well so let's flip over there okay here's a high level high level look at the downtrend you can see very strong downtrend and usually when they're this steep um, even if they're going to continue on they'll kind of flatten out like this one did and you'll find a separate channel so always look for that um, we really had a break and a new low here and we never really rallied out of there so it could just be that this you know this this channel is obviously correct here or valid you can see its prices are reacting off of it but it could be that we already had the break and new low and prices are still weak and people just don't want to commit to buying on a day like this and we just kind of move sideways into the close so um, if you found this blue channel, you were probably good to go. So but let's zoom in here, go through the trades. Seven o'clock came uh, down right down through here. And notice uh, notice there's a new high here. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but notice we moved down, we work up, and then we turn back down and then went back up. So that's a new high. So you try to go higher once, twice. And so you get a failed second entry long. It's a, only a first entry short, but it's a failure to the upside. A little more advanced trade, but if you understand what's going on, you see it right off that key entry point. Such a nice signal bar. Let's go short there. Unfortunately, you don't get a runner, but it's a quick, easy scalp. And then we're just kind of chopping sideways. It's tempting to go short right there. It's another second entry. Uh, it's the first break of this one. You'll probably get a new low but we're working sideways in some congestion and so I'm a little hesitant to that one now if you could figure out how to get in that one if it broke lower and you dropped a little limit order with enough room to get out before it hit that low then by all means you could try to get in that trade um, it ends up working out nicely you'd have got a little bit of movement out of that one but you got to be careful plus it's right into this 830 news and you see we had 845 and so I'd be flat by 830 840 at the latest anytime you get any uh, red news item high volatility news item that's related to the economy lately just just avoid it be out be out a little bit before you'll you'll I mean it didn't turn out to be much today there's not much movement here but you got to be aware of it and uh, and just make sure you're not uh, you don't want to get caught in something like that and get get burned uh, you can be right and get burned in that stuff so just my, my rule of thumb is usually you want to be flat before price before going into it and then wait for it to settle down 
10 or 15 minutes probably if there's not much to it five or ten minutes not much to this one so 10 minutes or so and then just kind of get back to it here um, and notice we did confirm the trend line here and turn down off of it there's a lower high right here but it's right into all that support I'm a little leery, leery of that one uh, again, if you could find a way to get in, if let it break lower and drop a limit order, and if it backs up enough to get out before that low, maybe you take that trade. Otherwise, I'd sit tight and wait. And this little short-term trend line, you get a close outside and it plays out. And then we rally and there's a bigger trend line here. And notice there's a first entry and then we come back here and there's a second entry short right there. So moved a little far to call that a lower high, but it's still a second entry short. Very small bar, very low risk, seven ticks. Uh, I like that one. And then we bounce again, and we're just kind of working sideways. I don't see anything here. There is another second entry lower high. You can see it looks a little congested, and so you got to be careful with that one. Uh, you probably would have got burned there if you take that trade, but there's plenty of clues to kind of sit tight there. And uh, we run back up and then we just get this triple test and really that's a double bottom there. So first entry and then a second entry short. Uh, there's plenty of room here. There's a little bit of stem. I still think that closes in the lower two thirds of that bar. Uh, and with a triple test and a second entry short, I like that trade. I'd take it. There's a another uh, breakout pull back here on for that support. You got to go low at the sh short at the very low of the day. Don't take that. Then we start chopping sideways. Of course, you get the break of the yellow channel, the khaki channel, and the new low. And you're just chopping sideways, but you get a triple test here. Really, you could call that a quadruple test. And um, pretty obvious range and plenty of room to the low side. I like that trade. And you can see it, it goes a little further than the previous lows. But it bounces real quickly, comes back to the trend line and resets. And you can see the trend working up. You get the break, move to a new high. And on a day like this, don't look for any longs. Just just stick to the shorts. And there's a new low here. It's lower than that one. So the count's over and you're moving up. You get a first entry. And then you get a second entry short right there. I like that one. This this You could look at this almost as a failed second entry. But it's a little bit congested across there, and you got to go short into a lot of support across there. Uh, so I'm aware of that one. I'd skip it, too. Comes back, still no entry there, and then we just keep working down. Um, there's another trend line here. I didn't draw it, but there's one here, shorter term one. And you can see it right there. Let's just give it a little different color. It starts to get busy when you start to see all these different trends but there's certainly another trend there and notice the new low and you get a first entry and then it breaks higher and turns down so you get the second entry all in one bar here uh, I like that one on the engulfing bar you can see there's really a strong downtrend here and that's probably going to trap people I don't think I would wait and go short down here at the very low still would have worked but I don't think I would do that um and then, of course, we try to come up a few more times and you end up getting a triple test with a very bearish bar and it's still everything's respecting that trend line. Just go short right there. Runs down, you finally get a break and you actually get two legs up to a new high and this creates a double bottom here so you get a first entry, second entry. Technically, it was a first entry when it came up. Uh, I'm sorry, notice it breaks lower there and then turns back up. So it really was a second entry right there, uh, but it never triggers. So it doesn't trigger till over here. So the second entry really still triggers right here, and you get a triple test by that time. Uh, so I like that, and a little double top right there. So I like that one uh, just for the second entry and the triple test. And turns out to be a pretty good move, but you can see we're chopping sideways again. You do fell out the bottom a few times. Again, don't try to go long here. It's not worth it. Uh, it's just not worth it. And of course, you got a little trend working up. You get a close outside, a couple legs up to a new high, and you get a second entry short right there. Notice there's a new low right there. First entry, second entry, nice bearish bar. Um, it looks like you're, you're going to 
get burned on this one and then it turns back down. This turns out to be a really nice move. You probably get a nice runner out of this one. Uh, again, you can't go short in here. There's a triple test there and you tested that from the underside enough. But with all that support right across there, I'm just, you know, I'm wary of that one. Really what you could, you probably need to do is just adjust your trend channel or your, your range channel or range to move it a little lower. Because that's really what happened here. Your range just kind of expanded some. And you can clearly see that. And that tends to still fit on the midline. Maybe it was there all along. And this was just a midline early on. But uh, you just can't go short right there. drop on down then you finally get a two-legged correction second entry short with a nice signal bar another great move down maybe you get another runner there nothing else down here you're, you're just getting too far away from the ma and then we bounce there's a little spike and channel here it's very short lived you get a break two legs are back to the new the lime green and that confirms you really kind of confirm that here, but just in case you want to get another touch, you confirm it right here. Very bearish bar on a second entry. Just go short there, and it runs all the way back down to support, and that takes you into 230. So basic day here, uh, trading with the trend. You know, what a, one thing that I want to make sure you understand is I'll get people that will see a triple test down here and try to buy, and it fails. When you're in a downtrend, you're not looking for a triple test to go long. You're looking for a triple test to go short. Stay with the trend. I don't know. Uh, people get really mixed up on that. They're just looking for patterns is what it is. You've got to learn to read this chart and understand the context of the chart. We're not pattern traders. We only use the patterns to confirm. Really, we, we use the patterns to confirm there's an entry where we're expecting something to happen to get us in on the right side and in in going with the prices in the right direction. So if we're in a downtrend like this, you're not looking for triple T. Even if you start going sideways, you're not looking for triple test to go long. You're waiting for them to come back up to the upper side and get a triple test to go short. And I, people send me stuff all the time. They're saying, well, I had a triple test here. Well, but why would you even be looking to go long here? This, look, I, look at this. They're just fighting the trend. Wait till you get a triple test off the high and then go short. Better yet, until you understand what you're doing, stay away from triple test and stick to the basics. Second entries with the trend at the key entry points. If you, there's several of them here today and you, you'd had easy, you'd had to wait on them. Yeah, but you easy trading. You're not here to take trades. You're here to make money. Remind yourself of that. And, and understand that you don't just take a trade because there's a pattern, because there's a second entry or a triple test. It's got, I mean, there's second entry longs all the way down through here too. But that doesn't mean you want to take them. You're looking for second entry shorts. The trend is all down. Don't buck the trend. You can make a mistake when you're entering, when a strong trend like this, you might even enter a little earlier, make a mistake, and still have a winning trade because you're entering with the trend, with the likely direction prices are going to go but if you try to pick a second entry long or a triple test to the long side you got to be perfect and you got to and you got to need a little luck on your side because what sometimes you'll see a perfect setup and it'll fail because the trend's too strong so just make sure you don't lose sight of that you're looking to enter with you're looking to enter with where prices are likely going Prices are not very likely going high here. They're, yeah, there's some little corrections here and there, but they're not. They're very short lived, and just ride them out and wait on the trend, the moves to the with the trend. Because then, like I said, you don't have to be perfect all. You want to be, but you don't have to be. You can get away with mistakes and being a little early or being a little late. But you can't do that if you're counter if you're counter trend trading. You got to be right, and if you're not right, guess what? You got to lose and trade on your hands. Uh, but when when you're trading with the trend and it's a strong one like this, you can sometimes make little mistakes and make errors and not read it exactly right and still have a winning trade because you're entering with the prevailing trend and you got the momentum and the all that on your side. So don't lose sight of that.
But anyway, pretty easy day today. It's all downhill. All you got to do is look to go short. Don't be looking to buy. Don't be thinking you're going to get a reversal or pick a bottom down anywhere down through there. Because you can see you got burned no matter what. Even at the end of the day, we closed almost near the low. So it's a very bearish day. All right, I think that's it. Not much else you can say about today. I hope you enjoyed the three-day weekend. I know I did. And um, take me a day or so to catch up on my emails and stuff. But I'm, I'm working on that. Um, try to get in the forum and catch up. But anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap it up for today. We'll be back again to do it tomorrow. It'll be a short week this week because of the three-day weekend, of course. And But uh, we'll be back again to do it tomorrow. I'm done for today. This is Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. And we'll see you next time.